And Jim, you're smiling broadly, as you always do, but it's because Scottish rugby is resurgent right now. Everyone pipping them to beat England maybe next week. The two uh, regional sides going great guns in the URC. Are you riding this same wave of optimism? Well, we always say Scotland are going to beat England. It doesn't always happen. Obviously happened last year. But look, Scottish rugby is in a fantastic place at the minute. You know, you look at Europe. Edinburgh beat Saracens away from home. Glasgow beat extra at home. Edinburgh riding high in the URC. Glasgow playing a fantastic brand of rugby. The strength and depth. And sometimes it is easy to get carried away. But you have to look at it at face value. You know, Scottish rugby got left behind a few years ago. It feels like now we're building a real momentum, not just going to the Six Nations, but some long-term sustainability. So, yeah, Scotland rugby in a fantastic place. You can be a little bit more objective, I guess, Shane. Are you, are you sensing the same degree of optimism that a lot of Scottish fans certainly are? Yeah, why not? Um, certainly club level, Edinburgh have proven that they're, they're worth top of the league, playing some fantastic brand of rugby. I think Mike Blair's done a great job there and they look like a team full of confidence. Glasgow also plays uh, a nice brand of rugby I enjoy watching. Um, and then when you, you look at the players that they can, uh, the strength and depth that they could be kind of leaning towards to, to put into this Six Nations squad, yeah, they, you know, they're, they're capable of big things. They've got a good team some superstars within the squad as well. They are building, they're strengthening their squad and, and who knows, it'd be, you know, it'd be great to see Scotland back where they, where they should be really and that's doing well in the Six Nations. Said like a true Celt. Um...